Hi there, this is Natasha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a crochet artist, tutor and designer at My Creative Butterfly. I've been crocheting for over 25 years now and I design crochet patterns for all level of crocheters starting from beginner till advanced levels. I hope you find what you are looking for on the channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you learned today. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to crochet these pretty and elegant leaf earrings. These are very easy and quick to make. Before we start with this, let me share a Skillshare class of mine. This is a Skillshare class for easy to make earrings. I'll provide a link in the description if you want to watch the class. It is free for a month. You can register and watch the class. Other than this class, you can also watch multiple other classes that I have posted there. Also, you can watch the classes that have been posted by other artists and you can enjoy a one month free trial of that through a referral link that I have provided in the description. Go ahead, click on the link and register yourself to Skillshare and watch the classes for free. Now for the material that you will need for today's tutorial, I am using a size 20 mercerized crochet cotton thread in two shades of blue. If you want, you can also use some contrasting colors like red and white, red and grey or yellow and orange like that whichever is your favorite color use two colors with this you'll need a 0.85 mm crochet hook you can go for a slightly bigger or smaller crochet hook that would be just fine with that you'll also need tapestry needle for finishing off the motifs a sharp pair of scissors for cutting off the thread and since we are making earrings you'll need jewelry pliers for opening and closing the jump rings with this you'll need jump rings uh, I am using the 5 mm jump rings, these are split rings. With this you will also need earring hooks. You can use any color depending upon the color of the thread like golden or uh, silver or copper. Now other than these materials, there are some extra materials that will be required for finishing off that is uh, blocking pins. These long stainless steel pins that are rust proof. With this you will need a blocking board. If you don't have a blocking board, you can use a towel folded in multiple folds. And you will also need a heavy finish spray starch for finishing off the earrings to keep it in proper shape. That's about it. This is the material required. Now to begin with, we will do the light blue leaf first. So start with a slip knot. Place a slip knot on the hook. Now do 7 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now we will do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Count the third chain from the hook and make a double crochet in that. Now make two chains and a slip stitch in the same chain in which we just made the double crochet. Make a slip stitch here. This completes your first leaflet. Like this we will create four leaflets for the first half. Now do 5 chains. In the beginning we did 7 chains. From now on we will be doing 5 chains. So do 5 chains. Again do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. 2 chains and a slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet. Keep repeating this. 5 chains. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook. 2 chains again. And a slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet. This is the third leaflet. We'll make one more to finish the first half. So again, five chains, double crochet in the third chain from the hook, two chains, slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet. Now we'll do the other side. So for doing that, just do a slip stitch in the first chain here, right next to the leaf. Do a slip stitch in this, slip stitch in the next chain. Now we'll make this leaflet here. So make two chains, one double crochet in the same base chain here where we made the slip stitch. Do a double crochet here, two chains and again a slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet just now. This completes the first leaflet of the other side. Now we'll skip this chain where we have the leaflet of the other side. Now do a slip stitch in the next chain. Skip the first chain slip stitch in the next chain and a slip stitch in the next one again again we'll do a leaf so do two chains double crochet in the same chain where we did the slip stitch two chains again and a slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet again we'll skip 
the chain in which we have done the leaf this one will do a slip stitch in the next chain do a slip stitch in this one a slip stitch in the next chain again do a slip stitch in this one again now again we'll do the leaflet so two chains double crochet in the same chain two chains again and a slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet that's it now again skip the next chain and do slip stitches in each of the next four chains skip this chain do slip stitch in the next one and slip stitch in the remaining three chains one two and three now remember if you find the video too fast there is a set, uh, option in the settings of your youtube player that allows you to play the video at half a speed so if you find it fast for you you can watch it at a slower speed and then you can crochet along now once done just fasten off the thread secure the end and leave it like that we'll do the weaving in uh, later when we'll be finished with all four leaf flips so you'll make one more like this for the second pair of earrings follow the same pattern and make one more now we'll see how to do the longer leaf so for that i'll take the darker shade of blue the pattern is almost the same only the pattern repeats will increase this is a smaller one it has only four leaves on one side uh, in the bigger uh, leaf you'll have seven leaflets on one of the sides so start the same slip knot on the hook now do seven chains double crochet in the third chain from the hook two chains and a slip stitch in the same chain where we did the double crochet now we'll repeat the same pattern like we did for the light blue leaf you are going to do five chains double crochet in the third chain double crochet in the third chain from the hook two chains and again a slip stitch in the same chain where we just did the double crochet this is the second leaflet keep repeating the same pattern of five chains double crochet in the third chain from the hook two chains and a slip stitch in the same chain as the double crochet till you have seven leaflets on the first side of the leaf when you once you finish with the seven leaflets that will do the first half of your leaf then we'll see how to do the second half that will be similar as what we did for the light blue leaf so finish off till seven leaflets then we'll see how to move forward this is the first side of the leaf all seven leaflets are done now we'll do the second side so start with slip stitches in the next chains so do a slip stitch in the next chain on the other side of the leaflet and do a slip stitch in the next chain as well now here we'll do the first leaflet of the other side so do two chains then a double crochet again two chains and a slip stitch in the same chain keep repeating this till you reach the end of the leaflet and we'll finish it off the same way as we did for the light blue leaf
and once you are done with all the leaflets of the other side skip the next chain and do slip stitches in the remaining four chains 1 2 three and the fourth one as well do slip stitches in all four chains that is it you are done with the uh, leaf now just fasten off and secure the end make one more piece for this also because you will be making a pair of earrings so you will need one light blue leaf and one dark blue leaf for each earring so make two two leaves like this and then we'll see how to finish off and assemble them Now for finishing off just thread the ends into the tapestry needle and weave in both the ends one by one for all the four leaves cut them off very close to the work That's it we are done with the first leaf repeat the same thing for the second leaf as well as for the third and the fourth one Once done with all four take the jump rings attach the bigger leaf first then the smaller one and then the hook close the jump ring repeat the same process for the second earring as well jump ring the bigger leaf first then the smaller one make sure that the right sides are facing to the front that's it once it is assembled then you will block it for blocking liberally spray the spray starch on both the leaves massage them a little so that uh, to, so as to prevent flaking then just flatten it out a little and put some uh, blocking pins in that so that it holds its shape repeat that for the other earring as well then we are just going to let it dry completely and then remove it and then we are it is ready to be flaunted place the pins shape it properly and let it dry completely that's it once dry your earrings are ready to flaunt wear them enjoy them i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you liked what you learned today don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching bye bye